Hello, today I am joined by Monica Maribelli, who is in Italy. She is a GMAU student, and we're going to get to know her a little bit today. Monica, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Joel. It's very exciting to be able to do an interview with someone who's literally on the other side of the world. <laughs> yes, for me as well. So Global Martial Arts University is truly global. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself and your martial arts background. Well, I didn't have any martial art background. I've always been fascinated in it, but never had the chance to join some training center or something like that. Then in a part of my life, I tore my ACL. Mm -hmm. So I thought I was finished in that. Um, but I was so fascinated, so I was searching for something that could give me the chance to do something at my age, I'm 48 years old, something soft, but I found out Gmail and for me it was fantastic because I started to train more and more and uh, now for me it's a new world, a new life. And what other martial arts have you done in the past? Or, uh, excuse me, what, what never, other... That, never done uh, any martial arts before. What other sports or activities have you done? I'm sorry. I used to ski uh, a long time ago. Then I tore my ACL, so I had to stop. And that's the, the only sport I made in my life, uh, seriously. So snow skiing. Uh, sorry? Snow skiing. Yes, no skiing. Yes, exactly. And uh, during the past years, I was uh, maybe a little bit, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, it. Um, I was stopped. I uh, didn't do any, any sport. But at the moment, I'm uh, really involved in uh, Taekwondo. So how far along are you at this point? Sorry? How far along are you? What belt are you at? What belt rank? Uh, I, I, it's, uh, I'm now in orange belt. I started, uh, I think, in October. Gotcha. I started with the white belt because I haven't done any martial arts before. And uh, now I'm in orange belt. I just passed the yellow belt exam. And how did you find GMAU? How did you find this Taekwondo program? I found it by case because I was searching for some videos of some Taekwondo videos and then on YouTube I found out uh, one classes, one class of uh, Adam that is, is my instructor in Taekwondo and I tried to follow this lesson, this class and uh, I found myself really really well because he has got a method that is uh, complete and uh, clear and meticulous. So uh, I, I decided in that moment to subscribe to Gmail. So you found one of the free classes online on yeah. YouTube and tried it out. Yeah, I tried yeah. it out and at, at the first lesson uh, I, um, I decided to uh, sign up. And Tell us, um, one, one of the things that I'm really interested in when, when I speak yeah. to individuals like yourself is what is your primary motivation for doing GMAU Taekwondo? So what, what is the main thing that drives you to want to do that? I wanted to give something more in my life, to have something more in my life. Uh, um, I feel just like being uh, um, stopped in uh, some sense. And uh, I wanted to do something that was something physical. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I was uh, kind of losing myself uh, in my body and so in my uh, thoughts, in my uh, psychology. And uh, for me, martial arts is something that teach you uh, also in your life uh, uh, a different behavior 
a different behavior in seeing life you know because um, there are some uh, tips and some steps that teach you something more than pure physical approach is that maybe discipline yeah and would you say that that's more true with martial arts than it was for skiing yeah absolutely yeah that's it gives you more it gives you more yeah much more so so far what you've described it sounds like you've had a pretty good experience with gma yeah. is there a little bit more you can share about um you know what's worked well for you or maybe even some challenges you've had to overcome along the way mm. Sorry, I for I uh, I lost myself for a while. Could you please repeat me your question? Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about your experience and what has gone well for you. What you have enjoyed about your experience, and um, if there are any challenges that you've had to overcome along the way, you know, share that as well. That would be interesting. Okay. That is hmm. my. I I've got a goal. Now I've got a goal. When I started to do this, uh, I uh, thought, okay, I try to do that. And then uh, if I can do that, uh, I see whatever, uh, whatever I can do. Now I've got a goal uh, that is to reach out uh, the black belt, um, the bad belt. So um, more and more I practice it. I understand that something is changing, as I told you before, and um, I feel really, uh, I don't know what to say, it. Um, I feel really motivated. Classes mm -hmm. and lessons are so well developed. Uh, Adam, in my case, that is the Taekwondo instructor, is uh, a person that is really available in each moment you need it. Yeah. It's just like being really in a training center. Yeah. Hey, or it's even better because you are um, you decide how to manage or your path, all your path. And uh, each time you do that, you become really more and more motivated, also by your instructor. So, um, that's that that's all i think it's uh perfect perfect developed uh, as a method to yeah. learn a martial art i didn't thought it before uh, when i started i was a little bit uh suspicious you know uh but when uh, you see uh, all the method use it you can understand that it's even better i swear yeah. even better than uh being in a training center yeah so it are there any pieces of advice that you would give other students on how to stay motivated and how to train at home which you know to me is one of the biggest challenges for gmau students you don't have a school to go to you don't have a place to go to um you know you don't have that expectation that you're supposed to be there at a certain day at a certain time so how do you stay motivated and are there any things that you do at home that that help keep you on track i get motivated um, uh, it becomes natural because uh, when you start to do this uh, you um feel each class each lesson more and more interested in what you are doing because you can see all the changes you reach uh on ability on gesture on uh, power uh, and i think that the motivation that comes uh, along the path more and more you're doing there are also the instructor that helps you a lot in being motivated because uh, you've got a direct a quite direct um, um, response from them if you got any problem uh they they are ready to help you and they motivate it more and more so that's that's come a little bit um natural 
and the other part is due to the instructor. Mm -hmm. So I told you before that how they teach, how they develop all the lessons and classes is perfect. So it becomes easier to be motivated. Yeah. So do you have a, like a specific room in your home where you train or where, where do you train at home? I just moved uh, to another house. Uh, so I, I try to uh, now to find the, the right place uh, to train, but I got uh, my room uh, that is uh, my sleep room that is um, four meters, uh, um, Four meters uh, quadrati. I don't know how to say it in English, but <laughs> it's uh, it's not so small, so I can train there. Yeah. Then I got a punching and kicking bag, mm -hmm. and I try to train also with that. I've got this the right space to train. Mm -hmm. And awesome. the, I'm trying to uh, create my taekwondo space. Yeah, in in your new place. Yeah. So. As we wrap up here, I really, I just want to protect your time and I really appreciate you taking the time. I know that um, you're getting off work and it's the end of the day for you. Um, is there anything else that you want to share before we end the interview or anything else you want to say? I, well, yes. I would like uh, that more and more people uh, could join this uh, new method. I think that it's a new method because I, I didn't find out uh, something like this and try to, to do some lessons. And uh, I would like that they could see how things changes inside and outside mm -hmm. us, them in that case. Well, that's, that's an excellent endorsement. So Monica, thank you again so much for your time and I wish you all the best in your training. Thank you, Joel. Thank you so much. Okay, take care. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.